time me again and continuing here with Excel and we're still looking at conditional formatting here. Now we're going to have a look at one of the built-in conditional formatting settings which is called data bars. So what we're going to have a look at is these values here and if I just select the cells and then conditional formatting data bars. Now you have two different sections for the data bars. You've got these ones here which are gradients and you've got these ones here for solid. Now actually the gradient ones seem great to start with but actually they become slightly difficult to read. The solid ones are much cleaner and I'm just going to choose this one here because it actually matches the Excel uh, 2013 style that I'm using with the rest of this. Now let me explain what the problem with this is and firstly we'll explain how it works. What it's doing is it's taking all that entire range of cells and it's looking for the biggest number value within them. That here is a hundred. Now what it does, it takes that big number value and it fills the entire cell for the biggest number. All of the rest are relatively filled in depending on their relationship with the biggest number. So that one there is one-tenth of the biggest number and that cell has been filled in one-tenth of a cell. Now you might say, well that's perfect, that's exactly what I want. This clearly shows me nice percentages. It only actually shows you percentages if your biggest number is 100. If I make this biggest number 90, my 100% is now 90 and that there is now showing me one ninth of the cell being filled in rather than one tenth. So you can see that becomes a problem. We can get around this by editing the conditional formatting. So the way we're going to do this is we go up to conditional formatting, manage rules. Now here we have our data bar rule in there. And if I, I can choose it and go edit rule or I can simply double click on it. And double clicking works in a lot of instances. So here we have the data bar as the type of formatting that we're going to show. Down here this is choosing the type where it selects the minimum and maximum. Now the default is automatic and this is where I feel the problem is with data bars. Let's set this rather than the lowest value. The automatic is choosing the zero and the highest value. Yeah. What we actually want to do is we want to choose zero. So we set this to a number and use the number zero. And then we're going to set this also to a number and we're going to say 100. So now when I click OK and OK again it looks exactly the same because the number that I've told it to use as the highest number is the same as the number that was in there but this time when I change that to 90 it doesn't alter the rest of the values. There, That is still showing me 90%. So that works pretty well. However, let's take this a stage further because actually what we don't want is we don't want the numbers visible in those cells. So if I just clear all the conditional formatting again, so go there, clear from the entire sheet. Now, what I can do is I can say that cell there equals the cell to the left. And now, if I just double click on that little skinny plus there, you hear some people calling that a an angry rabbit or a crosshair. Um, I call it a skinny plus because when we move off you've got the fat plus, when you come over it you've got the skinny plus and you can use that to drag to actually copy or to fill a series. So filling a series is what I did there so when I actually clicked and dragged it down it's actually filled in the series and effectively what it's done that has a formula in it. This one now has the same formula copied into it which refers to the cell on the left and if I just double click on it you'll see it's referring to the cell on the left. Now what we can do is we can use these values here to put our conditional formatting on. So we want to use data bars, we want to just use that colour there but you'll notice here again it's picked up the full length which is the 90. So we know we can go into the conditional formatting, manage rules and let's have a look at this rule. 
So we don't want to use the the automatics. So let's use the number zero and number one hundred. And we'll leave all those settings as they are. But in fact, there's one more we're going to do is we're going to show bar only and that will actually turn off these numbers. So we've got the numbers on the left. That's why I copied them across. Now when I click OK, the numbers have disappeared and these are now all showing me the percentage where 100 is the full bar. So if I do put 100 into one of these, it will take up the full bar, but these 90s won't. Um, I feel that's a much better way of using the data bars. The default way I think is quite clunky. Um, if I just apply standard data bars here, I don't think that looks as good, um, particularly when I don't have my full 100 in any of these. These have now filled out to the 90 being 100%. Um, also, I don't like having the numbers in the same field. So if I just undo a couple of times, I prefer having the data bars separately. OK, that was just a quick rundown on data bars. I hope that's been useful. I'm the Adobe Guy and thank you for listening.